to either tie or go ahead. Got to get Hanson Alberto on. He's not been on all night. Is grounded to third, flying to center and to right. Tyler Kinley sets, deals. Fastball over the inside edge, strike one. I don't think Alberto was ready to take a swing there. Yeah, I don't think so either. What is up with that? One strike to Hanser Alberto. The pitch on the way. Little tapper right out in front of the plate. Corporan picks it up, throws to first, and got it. I'm mystified by that first pitch. Yeah, you would think that you'd come into the box. You know the guy throws hard, that you would be ready. Golly. Brett Nicholas is hitless in three times, has grounded out on a comebacker to second and struck out swinging. Boy, that's one of those at bats you just shake your head and say, what is going on? We're in the ninth inning. We have a chance to win this game. Yeah, you don't want to give away at bats. Or outs. Right. Merciless heavens. Here's Nicholas. Four homers, 26 runs batted in. Kenley sets, kicks, deals, swinging, a miss strike one. Gallo waits on deck. All you need is a runner on. and Let Joey Gallo go to work and see if he can take things into his own hands all night long. One strike to Nicholas, the pitch. Oh, 89 mile an hour backdoor slider misses low, one and one. Kenley sets again and deals below the knees, two and one. Now a little patience here because Kenley appeared to rush that delivery. Uh, we, we saw him do that too, to also to Patrick Cantwell there in the eighth inning where he walked him on five pitches. And being that this is only his second game here in AAA, he might be trying to do a little too much in a safe situation. 2-1. Caught on and foul tipped into Corporon's mid. Two and two. Nicholas out of the box, now back in. Kenley sets again. Right-hander deals 2-2, slapped into left field. That'll drop for a base hit. And Dino wisely decided to stay back on that. But Round Rock has the situation it needs here. First hit for Nicholas. First off of Kenley, and Joey Gallo's one for three with that solo homer that tied the game in the second inning. You know, and right there, Tyler Kenley finding out what a professional hitter can do. Down, down two strikes in the count. Finds a pitch he can handle and just serves it out to left field. Doesn't try to do too much and get himself out. The set by Kenley. The pitch to Gallo. Upstairs, ball one. I was talking about that date in baseball history in 1992. Ozzie Smith breaking Roy McMillan's National League mark, taking part in his 1,305th career double play. That's a lot of double plays. It is. It's a lot of outs, too. 2,610. Ooh. 1-0 stretch. Third grade math teacher would be happy. As far as I made it in math, here's the pitch. High drive in the right. That's playable, I think. Sliding. That's a base hit. And Nicholas is going to end up at second base. What in the world happened? No communication at all. That should have been Isaac Galloway's ball. Destin Hood went sliding after it, couldn't get to it. Now Round Rock has the tying run in scoring position for Trevor Adams, who's 0 for 3. Yeah, that's one of the situations with that runner on first base. The outfield went way deep looking to play no doubles. And so where Joey got jammed just a little bit, and with that ball, even with that hang time, the outfielders were so far away, they really did not have a play. And now we're the beneficiaries of this. And they have a left-hander trying to begin to loosen out there, but he's waiting on the pitching coach. Storm Davis, who's visiting out of the mound with Corporon. Chris Reed and the shortstop. You got to believe he's getting ready for Drew Robinson and doesn't want to lose a game in that lefty-righty matchup now. Watching that lefty, it doesn't appear to be in any hurry to no, get loose. No, I don't <laughs> I don't quite understand that. So here we go with Trevor Adams and Corporon goes back out again to have a chat. 
Yeah, see, right here, after they've already made that visit, that's a situation where that should be called a ball Yes. in my mind. I know they don't have the clock on there, but they've already discussed it. They shouldn't be able to rediscuss. Left-hander Craig Breslow in the bullpen for the Zs. Tying and winning runs aboard here with one out of the ninth. Two, one Zs. Tyler Kinley has his hands full. Trevor Adams, right-handed batter. A look back at second. The pitch. Downstairs, outside. Corporon going to the knees to his right quickly to block it. Ball one. Nicholas single with one out, as did Gallo. Adams is flying to center, struck out looking, and flying to left. Adams has the power to end it with one swing. Has gap power. Ball loose down the right field side. Home plate umpire Thomas Newsom quickly realized that. And the first base umpire, Billy Kuna, goes to retrieve it. Tying run at second, winning run on at first. One ball and no strikes. Trevor Adams, the batter, right-handed hitter against the right-hander. Tyler Kinley, the stretch, a look back at second, the kick and pitch. Down and away, it's gonna move both runners up, a wild pitch, and Round Rock moves the tying and winning runs into scoring position here with one out in the ninth. Well, that's as good as a bunt now. So again, both those guys in scoring position, now wild pitch, and we've seen a couple wild pitches out of Kinley. That really comes in play. Really liking our chances now as the defense is going to have to come in and play in tight to the grass. And for some reason, the lefty, Breslow, stopped throwing. Huh? As Travis said, infield drawn in tight to the grass all the way around. Round Rock with a chance to win it here in the ninth. Two balls and no strikes to Trevor Adams. Runners at second and third. A look at third. Kenley deals, bang to right, back it goes, back, back, on back, that ball's on the bed, it's gone, and Trevor Adams has won it with a three-run opposite field shot here in the ninth and a 4-3 Round Rock win. Home run for Adams, number two, RBIs 9, 10, and 11. They're drowning him at home plate. Round Rock wins it in walk-off fashion in the ninth inning with a game-winning Trevor Adams opposite field homer off of Tyler Kenley. 4-7-0 E-Train, 2-5-0 New Orleans. Back to talk about it on the Whataburger Post Game Show next. This is Express Baseball on the Austin Radio Network. <laughs> 